Hello and welcome to the GBR Live Vlog. I'm Caitlin and this week we are discussing IFTTT. Before I get into this automation tool, I first wanted to mention, if you're interested in taking the guesswork out of life by finding out about reviews and parenting hacks, you've come to the right place. On GBR Life, I talk about those very subjects here on my vlog with a post every week. But there is so much more to GBR Life, aka good, bad, real life. With a blog, podcast, and this vlog, you will never run out of content. There is also an awesome clothing line to keep you comfy and stylish called Mama Koala. And if you want to check out any of this, Links are below in the description blo box. <laughs> are you ready for IFTTT, also known as if, if this, then that, right after my intro? Let's get into it. Now that you know who I am and what GBR Life is all about, let's discuss what IFTTT is all about. I will be showing you inside of IFT later on in this video, so stay tuned for the fun ahead. And be sure to keep watching in order to figure out if IFTTT is right for you, especially if you are someone who wants the ease of automation in more than just your software, but also in your daily life and home. Yes you can have the ease of making your home a smart home by scheduling programmed events like your lights coming on when you get home using Philips Hue, while also getting a text message that will alert you to a new subscriber on your website. IFTTT originated on the Apple Store. So it was an app first, and it was called IFTTT, or IFT, and some may know it as if this, then that. And its main goal was to create applets that allowed the user to simplify their lives by getting up schedules and scenes, but getting the ease of forgetting they ever did it at all. That whole set it and forget it kind of idea. IFTTT is still an app and website with over 700 services and apps to choose from when creating what they call an applet. This is just another way to say a program because that's what you're doing ultimately. You set up a program or a schedule and you enjoy never having to worry about doing the mundane manually. Again, that thermostat can set itself with IFTTT and so can those lights and coffee machines. Make it work for you. So how much is this gonna cost you? Your first option is free, but it's limited, as always. With limited applets, standard speeds, DIY, or already made applets, along with unlimited applet runs, free mobile app access, and simple no-code integrations, you will not regret signing up and getting started with just a few applets to make your life easier. But if this tool is your new best friend, you can go with the pro option at just $2.50 a month. Then you have 20 applets with faster speeds doing multiple actions and customer support. Or you can go with the pro plus, and this is where you get the real fun with unlimited applets, along with everything in pro, the ability to connect multiple accounts to one trigger using queries and filter codes, developer, developer tools, and prioritize customer support. Honestly, it's not so expensive, but this is a tool that has to make sense for your life and the apps you use before going with Pro or Pro Plus. Now, let's take a look inside IFTTT so you can just see what I mean. Now I know this is a little bit of a different setup, but I did want you to see a little bit more of a guided view of IFTTT. If, then, then, if, this, then, that. So first and foremost, you're obviously going to actually log into IFTTT. But by log in, I mean you need to go to IFTTT.com and get started. Okay, 
So from there, you're going to start today and it's going to bring you to go ahead and log in. And you're gonna get started with Apple, Google, or Facebook. Or you can just use your email. And this is available as an app. So that's a huge game changer from this compared to many others. From there, you log in to the account you'd like to choose. I chose my Google account and I picked from the many options I had listed. And then from there, go to the home page. And from the home page, you can see you have a few choices. You can go to all applets, services, stories, um, and really just get an understanding of what you are about to get yourself involved in. But remember, there's 700 plus different apps to choose from, and you don't have to know how to do it yourself. You can just use the applets to help you figure out which one you'd like to use, just like Zapier and Integromat. But IFTTT is a little bit more like an automation tool for your home. It started as that, like I mentioned, so it's more, it's not really that it started as a home tool. It started as a tool for people to use automation in more than just their phones, but in their everyday lives. So from here, you're going to decide whether or not you'd like to purchase and go through the upgrade or continue to explore. Now, if you continue to explore, these specific, this specific one I chose is just showing you that this is an applet. This is where you can choose to save your favorite tweets in an Evernote notebook, for example. And it will automatically do that. You don't even have to figure out how to connect anything. It'll just ask you if you wanted to connect and it will go ahead and add your accounts to it and bam, it's done. I mean, it's really as simple as that. Now, if you do press on it, the first thing it showed was going to Evernote. So it, you'd have to click on it to go in there um, and continue from there. But instead of doing that, I'm going to head over to my applets. And so that this way you can actually see some of the ones that I already have listed, including, for example, here, Todoist. Let me go back to that. Todoist, task to Google Calendar. Next up, you have create. This is how you actually create your own unique IFTTT or IFT. If this, then that. So first thing you're going to do is press add if this. You're going to pick the app or service that you'd like to use. In this case, I'm going to go ahead with Google Calendar. And then I'm going to decide on what I want the trigger to be. They have specific triggers that you can automatically go with, or you can suggest that they add a specific trigger that you might be looking for. They will review it and let you know whether or not they add it to the system for you to be able to use that. But they do have a good amount of options. From there, you add the account that you have, and then you go to the next part of what you're trying to connect. I'm trying to connect my Google Calendar to my Todoist calendar. Well, links, or not links, but you know, to-do list. <laughs> so from here, you select exactly what you're looking for. Like I said, I'm looking for Todoist. So I'm just gonna type in to-do. And from there, it just comes up. And you can see that I have more than one option because they want you to know that there's more than one opportunity to select a, to, uh, a task list or like in this case, Todoist or Microsoft To-Do. Which by the way, I do have my To-Doist video. So if you'd like to check that out, go ahead and look at the top of the screen and you'll see that video. Now from here, you're just going to go ahead and decide on what you want 
to customize for that specific trigger. So each of these are going to come up with their own, like in the last one you were deciding what the trigger was, but in this case, because Todoist is a uh, to-do list that is more customizable, you get to choose how you want it added to work with your other app. So for example, if you want it to be a priority for what the due date is, adding a note, your description, I mean, choice is the, is the name of the game in this case, and you're going to have a few choices with each app that you select. Then it's going to ask you if you would like to receive notifications every time the applet runs. I would suggest to everybody that until you get used to it and to make sure that it always works, you go ahead and press that toggle and, and say yes in that sense. And then you press finish. And that's it. That is... IFTTT. After that, it's just going to automatically do everything that you said because you connected the accounts and everything's basically done. And this over here, just so you know, is my Mama Koala uh, little logo there. So don't forget to check out MamaKoala.com. But now that you know about IFTTT and how to kind of use it and just a little glimpse inside, let's continue this conversation on the other side. What I need. There you have it. IFTTT is another automation tool that may benefit you. It's not full of choices compared to Zapier or Integromat, but it's great for the novice who wants to make their entire lives more automated. And for those who just want to add a bit more in ways Amazon and Google may require you pay for it. So do you have any questions about IFTTT? Comment those questions below. Or are you interested in a review of another product or tool? Let me know and I will review it for you with a comment. And if you're interested in reviews like this, check out my other reviews like this one. So that's it for this week. Next week, I'm going to discuss Tango. It's time to make some work guides without even trying. Could this be the next best thing in tutorials? So be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon so you will be notified when the next awesome video comes out that may help you in your daily life and business. But you don't have to wait until next week because with all of my content on gbrlife.com and my amazing clothing line called Mama Koala. You don't have to be without GBR Life in your life. See you next week.